Queen of Heaven, Queen of Hell, Horned Hunter of the Night, lend your power unto the spell, and work our will by magic right. In the earth and air and sea, by the light of moon or sun, as we will, so mote it be, chant the spell and be it done. In 2003, here we are, and a lot of people still believe this myth, that uh, which is bad and evil. The word Wicca means wise, and that is how the witches in the old days were known. They were the medicine people, and knew about healing with herbs. Back in the 17th century, what today we call alternative medicine, was the only medicine. Wicca is a nature-orientated religion based on a mixture from several ancient European pagan beliefs. It has two deities, a fertility goddess and her consort, a horned god. It is believed modern-day practices of Wicca started in the early 19th century and they bear little resemblance to ancient day practices. However, UQ historian Sarah Ferber says it didn't really gain momentum in Australia until much later. But in terms of it being a modern, um, fully-fledged movement, if you like, you'd probably be only going back to the mid-70s or early 80s for that. Witches believe that Wicca is the oldest religion on earth. To pagans, there is neither heaven nor hell, or the attendant rewards or punishments, nor is there redemption and forgiveness through the death of a saviour figure. What uh, witchcraft is and paganism is, is very much a religion in its own. It's one of the oldest religions in the world. And what I mean by that is that it actually takes its understanding and its knowledge from the roots of all of the traditional um, religious belief systems of Western Europe. <laughs> Anthor Noamchong calls himself a spiritual catalyst. He is a shaman, a medicine man, and a very active spokesperson in the Brisbane pagan community. Another active pagan in Brisbane is the Wiccan priestess Rowanna. She has been practicing the religion for over eight years. Wiccans believe in the god and the goddess, okay? We believe that we all came from the one, the creator, whoever that is. We can't know that because it's beyond our comprehension as human beings. We believe very strongly that the deity of the ancient gods or goddesses or of the earth is within us as well as outside of us and surrounds us as well. It's the one split into two virtually. And it's so that we, can, we as humans can actually understand who God and goddess is. I mean, if we put the god and goddess in a, a human form, if we visualise the goddess as being a woman, and the God is a man, well, it's easy for us to, to grasp a hold of that concept. One of the fundamental perceptions of paganism today is that each individual must accept full responsibility for their own actions and make up their own mind on moral issues. Unlike within um, the other major denominations where the priesthood is the only people that contact the deity or the aspect of the ancient, their gods, we don't do that. Everybody who worships, worships the gods directly. Witches generally believe in reincarnation. There is a common belief that your sex alternates from life to life, and your next life could be earlier in world history than this one. Well, not all Wiccans or, or pagans believe in reincarnation either. My personal belief is that we do, when we die, we go somewhere and we process all our learning, all our lessons from this life, and then maybe we, we choose and decide what we want to then go on to learn in the next life. I believe very much in the idea, idea of um, reincarnation, um, and I believe very much in the fact that we do come back many times, either through choice or to learn lessons or to get it right when we stuff up. Another important part of pagan beliefs are the elements of fire, air, earth and water, and of electrical and magnetic fluids. One thing that most pagans, will, well all pagans will say is that everyone does it in their own way. Um, but the essence of, of the witchcraft is your inner self-development. The use of magic is very important in witchcraft. But it is not about funny words and dirty tricks, as some people may think. The witches give a quite different explanation. Well, magic is not the aspect of now you see it, now you don't. Okay? <laughs> First and foremost, it's not a trick. Magic is a term that defines the aspect of um, uh, rituals, okay? the ability of supernatural events happening that cannot necessarily be explained.
And then the difficulty with believing in, you know, magic is that we've been brought up in a, in a very sort of the scientific community that says magic is fairy stories, magic is made up. Um, but I've seen magic happen. If you thought you needed to be special to have the powers to do magic, you're wrong. According to Anathor, everyone can be clairvoyant. It's just a matter of opening the mind. I'm real. Everybody has that ability in themselves. Everyone. It's just that we're taught from birth not to acknowledge it. Witches neither believe in the devil nor hell. So then, what is black witchcraft? I, f I personally believe that black witchcraft is when you do spells on people and they haven't given you, you their permission. Or you're trying to change people for your own gain, okay? That to me is black witchcraft. Within witchcraft we have a, um, a law called the threefold law. And the idea of the threefold law is that anything you do comes back to you three times. So anybody in their right mind is not going to want to do something that's negative to make them have to get negativity back three times. They'd be just silly. So we can't just say that... Um